engine running. Good morning, good afternoon, good night to everyone watching this video. Welcome back to YouTube Unsolved. My name is Dallas aka Infernus, and today we're going to be covering the channel on YouTube which is apparently live streaming from the moon. Or at the very least, live streaming something that is definitely curious. So if you're not familiar, YouTube has the capability just like all kinds of other sites like Twitch to allow users to live stream straight to their platform. You've probably seen some non-stop NASA streams or streams from outer space of the space station or some satellites or something like that. But sometimes, just like there's an unusual side of videos, there's always going to be an unusual side of this as well. And you could theoretically just go live anywhere. You could just take out your phone whenever you wanted and just download the YouTube Live app and you could just live stream anything at any time. And But there appears to be a channel that's taking this to a whole nother level, and by a whole nother level, I kind of mean... a whole nother planet. That's right. We may have just found a channel that is live streaming from the surface of the moon. Right here, right now, as I speak. Out there, on the moon. Now this was incidentally found by a very helpful member of the YouTube Unsolved's own Discord server, which I'm going to use this opportunity to shamelessly plug. You really need to go on there and become a member if you haven't already. Definitely join. You may find some crazy mysteries like this before they even become videos. So thank you so much, Shade. I really do appreciate this finding. But what I don't appreciate is the fact that I'm still out here working with Wi-Fi issues. Meanwhile, there's someone just chilling out on the moon live streaming like it's no one's business. That's kind of annoying. Come on. So Langrenus2021 with some foreign characters in the beginning of the name is the name of this YouTube channel. Now if you were to translate the name in the beginning of this name of this YouTube channel, you would come up with translate from Chinese mission. So that means the entire name of the channel is Mission Langrenus2021. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Either way, this is a channel with only a mere couple of subscribers, which seems to have been started up this month. But the channel, other than its name and the banner, is rather innocuous in nature. It doesn't really have much that stands out as strange. No upfront crazy glitches or weird things happening in this one, unfortunately. The only thing standing out is being different. Being the one piece of content on this entire channel, of course. Entitled Langrenus 2021-14SOL1. This stream has been going non-stop for almost an entire week straight. And by looking at the channel's public videos, we can see that it actually had a previous stream which went for over 70 hours straight, but I guess the connection got cut off due to the local moon service carrier going down for some time. I hate when that happens. The stream, which is still running right now, is basically showing a very fuzzy background, which is very hard to see. Some terrain, very bright, not so colorful terrain, and an obviously dark sky. It's not quite clear what exactly we're looking at when we just stop by the stream just at one random point throughout the day, because it is going for 24 hours a day. Something about it just seems off to me personally when I see it too. I don't know if it's just me, but it's like the same sensation of when you play a Half-Life game all on your own. The kind of feeling of isolation and existential dread of some sort. It is kind of hard to explain, all right, so. I'm sorry. And for as all you know, it could just be a still frame of a random photoshopped image anyways. Like, what's the big deal? What am I on about? Yes, that's what I started thinking as I was hopping in and off of the stream every couple of hours investigating it. 
I kind of started coming to that conclusion myself, because of course, why wouldn't you? Until it moved. So I had started recording an entire day's worth of this live stream just going non-stop, and yes, rest in peace, my hard drive. And at multiple times it appears that there's some unseen cameraman in the background who starts moving the camera around, putting their hand on the lens, and even at some points walking around and moving it to an entirely different position. I'll let you be the judge because I'm about to show you some clips that I recorded straight from the live stream. So there are some parts that stand out more than others, like this part where the camera moves on stream, and we get a more detailed glimpse of the landscape around the filming location for just a split second. It also is made quite clear that wherever, th in reality, this is being streamed from, the exposure of the camera is turned way down, which indicates a naturally very bright landscape. And we know this because when the cameraman hand touches the lens or covers it up, it really messes up the lighting levels of the entire stream, and we get to see for a split second the details of the land around. And we can actually see what the ground looks like better in this footage, and it looks like a very rocky and sandy ground. At one point you could even also barely see what looks like to be dust or some movement of the cameraman's feet. I found that to be rather peculiar. So overall, when it comes to the camera, whoever's behind it, seems to move it around to a different position every couple of hours, shifting it to multiple different locations, and sometimes also in a location which appears to show a small crescent-shaped illuminated object in the sky, which, yes, appears to seem to be... the Earth? So all the land in the distant areas of the stream for what we can see, as far as we have information, doesn't seem to move around no matter how much the cameraman walks or moves into a different location, which is pretty indicative of the fact that the mountains in the background are quite far away. So anyways, you know what time it is. We do know one thing for sure. The moon is 240,000 miles away. And whenever I'm driving in between cities in the middle of nowhere, I can hardly get connection. So imagine a desert a quarter million miles across, and you're still getting Wi-Fi. The whole thing clearly doesn't add up in any common sense way. But who are we to say that that is obviously just something that debunks everything? There's pretty much absolutely nothing that's sensational about this channel. No clickbait thumbnail, title, or name to it. Nothing that would ordinarily even get your attention. So if this whole thing was being elaborately staged or faked in real time, you would think there'd have to be some kind of overall purpose of gaining some form of attention from it. Not any ordinary person could just constantly livestream to YouTube non-stop without any interruptions, let alone from the moon. I'm not even sure how you would go about faking this. Okay, first of all, to begin with, like, is someone just in the middle of the Sahara Desert just live, constantly living there with, while filming the landscape with a CGI-edited dark sky, the ground, and Earth up in the distance just to a channel with 14 subscribers? It's not really adding up to me. But that's not obviously trying to say that the contrary makes any more sense. Because, of course, just because someone hasn't said that they've sent someone to the moon, doesn't mean that they haven't done it. I would personally be surprised if there hasn't at some point in history, from the beginning of first landing on the moon to now, been some secret, underground, very rich company, organization, or country, government, that has actually sent more people to the moon's surface and just simply hasn't told anyone. Maybe even setting up a full new Wi-Fi connection system allowing them to connect to the rest of the far-off world's network across the empty sea of nothingness. Maybe wanting to test this secret capability by starting a live stream, broadcasting from the moon, right here on YouTube. 
to a channel with an uninteresting name so no one would ever see it. Even looking a bit more into the channel's name itself will tell us that part of its name is actually a location on the moon. It's a crater valley known as Langrenus. I really don't know for 100% sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it is viewable on Google Earth 3D, or I guess in this case, Google Moon 3D. And looking around at the various perspective points in this crater, you can call me whatever you want, but eventually, in my opinion, we begin to see that on the horizon, on the distance here, starts to look eerily similar to the examples that we have from this live stream. Even with more advanced programs like Space Engine, which gives us the most up-to-date and accurate high-quality simulation of the way the solar system is now, uh, going to this general location, looking up and back towards where Earth is, puts it according to this current simulation in almost the exact spot that we saw it on stream on top of everything else. I don't know about you, but I find that to be a little bit creepy. But let's just stop right there, because obviously I would be lying if I said that I didn't think that that sounded a little bit, at least a little bit, unrealistic. So stop typing, I get it. But here's the thing, literal public people all the time, like Elon Musk, have said, for, like, multiple times that we should start colonizing the moon, and that's like the first step in order to actually advance to the next level, making it all similar to Earth and stuff like that. What do we have here on Earth? the internet. All I'm saying is just that it's not impossible. So do I actually think that this is a live stream on the moon? Probably not. I just think that the probability of this YouTube Unsolved community happening to have just randomly stumbling across a secret interplanetary live stream to be kind of small, to say the least. It's not impossible. I want to believe. I would personally think that they would use some kind of private secret platform or network in order to broadcast this or test this out instead of just the biggest one ever, like YouTube. That's just my personal opinion. So yeah, if Elon Musk is watching right now, and you know something that we don't, well, first of all, wow, that's pretty epic. Secondly, you have some explaining to do. So that's gonna do it for this episode of YouTube Unsolved, and that was the YouTube channel that is apparently, supposedly, live streaming from the moon. I gotta really find out what Wi-Fi they're using because I think it's time for an upgrade in that case. But once again, join the Discord server if you haven't already. If you have a, your own YouTube Unsolved secret type thing or mystery that you found on YouTube, make sure to go ahead and use either my business email to contact me with adequate evidence or just go into the Discord and you can submit it there. And yes, get ready for the next episode of YouTube Unsolved as well because it's going to be the season two finale and it's going to be a banger. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.